guys again. Today, I'm going to be talking about 415. And frame painting. If you're going to go through the hassle of ripping your truck down, putting an LS in it, V8 swapping it, putting different rear ends in it and stuff, the beds are light enough. They're held on by, I think, six bolts, six or eight, you know, even and even. They're easy to take. You get a buddy, pick the bed off, lift the bed off. Something that, that that's, I'd highly suggest doing is, is prepping your, your frame, especially when the motor's out because you want to keep rust and all that on something you're potentially sticking a lot of money into. My trucks, I have way too much money into them. Um, so I want to keep the frame from rusting, especially whenever I do climb under there, seeing I'm in the garage now and I'm not working on it at the shop on the lifts because it's going to be such a long build. I don't want to be sitting under it and you got rust and all that stuff falling on your face. So just going to go over a little bit about how I've prepped it, what I do, how easy this stuff is to use, and it is fairly cheap. I think this off of Amazon for the six pack, was about between 40 and 50 dollars and the great thing about this pack is it comes in the little can so if you're going to do it over a couple weekends use this can use one up throw the can away you don't got to worry about it drying up because this stuff does dry up really quick and really easily and then you're wasting money instead of buying the big old pints and stuff so just buy this this particular pack and it's easy especially seeing i'm doing stages of stages of them i've already done where the cab sits all in there and it looks amazing as you can see. The way I went about doing it is I do have access to, I have a big air compressor back here. I have air lines in my shop, my, my garage is plumbed for all that. But if you don't have all that, you do got a wire brush or you can get a grinder and put a flapper wheel on or something just to knock the surface rust off. Cause this stuff, basically all you have to do is just brush it down, knock the surface rust off, get you know anything that, that that's loose on there off. Um, that's what I did with the back part of the frame. I did take a wire wheel for this part because there was you know rust around the cab mounts and everything but i took the wire wheel to most of this knocked it off i didn't spend too much time on the back half because it's pretty clean there is paint still on it. i got as much off as i could um but using this was the quickest easiest way to do it was this with one of these wire with one of the wire wheels on it i actually you can see i destroyed this pretty much that's the quickest easiest way to do is is just to do that wire it off, get it nice and clean, prepped. This stuff, you don't have to get the rust off. This stuff, you don't have to get the rust off. It adheres better to rust than to flat, shiny, nice new metal. They actually suggest not using all that. They have a different stuff they do use, but this Pour 15, the um, rust pre preventative coating sticks to surface rust more than anything. So that's what they suggest using it for. Now you do gotta prep it once you get the frame down to the way it looks right now you do got a pre um i've used a greaser purple power they sell a degreaser whatever degrease it get it clean then you buy it i i bought their metal prep pretty sure there's probably other ways to do it but i figured i wanted to do it their way so there was no questions about it i bought their metal prep this particular bottle was twenty dollars and i've done basically from the cab back with this metal prep and got it going and I still have probably a little under a quarter of it left. But spray it down, get let it soak. You're supposed to keep it wet for 20 minutes, they say, so basically you don't have to keep spraying it. And a little squirt bottle, that's what I used. Then you hose it down or rinse it very thoroughly with water and let that completely dry. And it was a very simple process. You know, I was, I was not that I was scared. It was just, man, it seems like a big process to paint a can. I just spray paint it. Spray paint would have been cheaper, but it doesn't last. My last truck, I did spray paint and it just goes through it so quickly and it looks like crap. This stuff looks very well as you've seen. I'm gonna go ahead and do the back half. And like I said, I didn't prep the back half as good as I did the front. I went a little overkill on that with the wire, um, the, the wire wheel. And that's why it looks so smooth and nice in the back half. I kind of like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just do it simple. Something that like someone sitting in their driveway would do with 
a brush. I literally just brushed it off as best I could. I did hit the wire wall on some more rusty parts and more flaky parts on one of the cross members. I did use the wire wall, but not much. Most of it I used just this wire brush on it and got it scaled off because I want to see how it looks on a semi-prep frame, someone that's not sandblasting down or sitting there spending hours wire wheeling it down with the pneumatic one. I went ahead and did this. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get the back of the frame painted. piece of the wiring harness. All right guys, I ran out of memory on my um, camera, didn't realize it. So I got about five, six minutes into it, but I did get it all painted before I realized it. Um, just got it done. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now, and then we'll come out tomorrow morning when it's all dried and show you exactly what it looks like. you see the rust pitting all in there but that's okay because you don't see none of this but it should not do no more this is where the rust was the worst on the whole frame all right guys it's the next morning i got the frame completely painted last night like i said we're gonna take a look at what it looks like right now and show you the outcome This stuff is pretty strong. It didn't even sit for 24 hours and it's, like, I mean, you can't scrape it. 
no marks. Alright guys, that's pretty much going to be the video today. You've seen how the frame came out, looks really good. Couple tips and tricks for the whole setup. First, make sure your prep's clean, good, nice. Get all the flaky rust off, all the old flaky paint off. Just clean it good, then degrease it. Then you want to use the prep, get it prepped up. Secondly, wear gloves. Stuff does not want to come off no matter what you wash. Or I actually even sprayed it with brake clean and lacquer thinner, still does not come off. I read the instructions, they say it takes about a week, week and a half to come off on a typical basics. So wear gloves. Also, if you are doing this on a nice driveway or in a nice garage that you're picky about, lay something down because it does stick to the pavement and does not want to come up. Another thing with this, when you're laying it on, I brushed it on with a regular paintbrush. And I did two layers. I went over the whole thing once, and then when the second it gets tacky, then you go over it a second time with the second layer and try to do even coats. That's the way they recommended to do it. I did it, and that's how it looks. That's why it looks so good. And you can go back over it on areas later on. They say if you want, if, if you missed a spot or if you have to grind something down and drill or weld, you can go back over it which is a great thing with this but that's the main tips this stuff or i say it's some nasty stuff this i mean you heard how that is it, it's i can't even bend it this is some pretty pretty strong stout stuff I highly recommend it for if you're going to paint your frame or any areas on a rusted metal um for again first time i used it great stuff but them are the main tips, wear gloves, make sure your prep is very, very good. Make sure you get all the old paint flakes off and then brush it on two coats. Could do three if you want, I guess, if you want I mean, to make it extra thick because this stuff is pretty thick. So do that and make sure you lay something down if you're worried about the ground and wear some dirty clothes because you don't want to ruin no clothes like always. But that's going to be the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit the like, the subscribe button, and I will see you next time.